I live in a lovely neighborhood, truly. The roomy cottages surrounded by small yet flourishing gardens, the wild peonies caressing the sides of the gravel roads and the surrounding forest, awe-inspiring in its height and colors. The beauty makes it difficult to believe that horrors lie within, and the small town keeps its fear and grievance to itself, making it a fairly popular destination for tourism during the spring. The attentive ones among the tourists will sometimes notice the light hue of sadness in the eyes of the town's elderly that sparks when one mentions the town's most well-known attraction, the mushrooms. The mushrooms around town grow to the heights of trees, often providing shade and shelter from the blazing sun, and are extremely popular for their subtle yet addicting flavor. Restaurants in the area offer anything from the more classic mushroom stew to mushroom-based desserts and gelatos, and the tourists often return yearly for a taste of the town's unique cuisine. It wasn't always this way. The elders remember. A few decades ago, the town was not but a small, low-income village, whose residents were a harsh people who spent their days scouring the forest for the occasional berry bush and chopping wood to import to the main city. Until Little Jimmy came along. Little Jimmy was the first. His life wasn't something worth mentioning. His father was the town drunk, and his mother managed to escape by marrying a wealthy butcher from the near city. The elders say they still remember that day, though most of them are too senile to remember their own name. It still isn't clear why Jimmy's father shot him, but all swear to have heard his drunken mumbling followed by an ear-popping shot. All people know is Jimmy's dad managed to escape, and of the mushroom that rose in their backyard the following week. The town I live in is quite the decent lifestyle. Its main source of income is tourism, and it pays well. It is a safe and happy town for most seasons, besides winter. For winter is the planting season.